Uh, Barry St. Edmunds brings back a lot of memories for me. For some sitting here, Saji Uncle is here, Lissy Auntie is here, Jeffrey is here, Shevin is here. Years back, I started writing my story in this country in Bury St. Edmunds as a church. So it's part of a church here in Bury St. Edmunds and it's good to be back in God's house and in this town. You know, it's a privilege and honor to be standing here representing Christ. Do you know it's a privilege and honor to be sitting here or standing here and worshiping your maker? How many of you are considered it as a privilege? How many of you are considered it as an honor? We could have done so many things on a Saturday. But come here and know that your ashes can be a crown of beauty. Your despair can be a festive phrase. Your mourning into dancing and it is possible in God's house and where God's people gather his Holy Spirit's presence is here and where Holy Spirit's presence is there there is rest there is healing there is deliverance there is breakthrough what do you need what is your question today what is your question mark today there is an answer for it I don't have the answer any worship leaders don't have the answer there is this Jesus in the room who has the answer to it all And sometimes worship, you think, oh, it's a bunch of instruments and some sound. And, but worship is more, much more than that. Your daily living, whether you're a student, whether you are a doctor, whether you're a teacher, whether you're an, I don't know, medical staff. Your very existence on earth should be a form of worship. It's, worship is not an opportunity to show much, to show yourself. Pastor said about competition. It's not competition. Worship is how much you value God's presence here. Do you value God's presence here? If Jesus was in the room, how would you value his presence? I want to take one verse from the Bible. John chapter 12, verse 3. You know what? I've already called my worship team to come on stage because I don't want to stop that worship. Whether it be the sound, through music, through your words, let the Holy Spirit come down. John chapter 12, verse 3. I want you to take to God's word. We all know the scripture. Very common scripture. I'm reading from the TNIV version. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nod. An expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of perfume. I'm not here to teach that scripture, but I want you to learn some lessons here. If I ask anybody, which is the dirtiest organ of our body? What would it be? Our feet. Even the Jesus dirtiest organ of his body was worth the top of the head. Mary thought the hair. She unbraided her hair. Poured the perfume, perfume then forget it, it's, it's a worth year's labor. I don't know how much you earn if you're working. I earn. One year's annual salary worth of perfume. Poured onto Jesus' feet. And my head, my hair is worth wiping your dirtiest part of Jesus' body. Jesus' lowest is more better than our head. When you head, when you anoint your oil, where do you do, 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 do it on the feet? You do it on the head, the top of your head. 
what mary thought even her head or hair on her head is not worth jesus' feet the perfume filled the room i don't know what is filling your room right now i'm talking about the room of your heart what is filling filled your room jesus is worth worshiping jesus is worth worshiping and i want to remind each of you only one person mary the sister of martha and lazarus seized the moment and poured martha was ready for her presentation of food lazarus was thanking that he's alive previous chapter you go and read yeah, jesus raised lazarus from the dead he probably would have been happy about that but mary thought there is a person worth worshiping keeping all that to one side there is one man jesus and mary one last thing mary did not worship jesus after he is dead and buried mary worshiped jesus while he was living just a few days before his crucifixion mary worshiped jesus that is all said and done for mary what about you today holy spirit and his presence and jesus is here in the room how much is he worth how long will you go to worship him mary was sensitive to the moment because she spent jesus she spent time with jesus previously i don't know how much time you have spent with god today she was grateful probably jesus had raised her brother from the dead she had a real revelation of what is jesus worth my question to you today is do you know or has it been revealed to you the worth of jesus christ and today we're going to a time of moment of worship mary poured all the perfume out not holding anything back are you going to hold anything back today to worship to worship this jesus by his mere word he put the world into the galaxies in space that mere word that is a god that you and i say that he is my god how far are you going to go the anointed one the messiah was being anointed before even his burial and there were lots of people to criticize oh that is wasted that perfume is wasted Are you going to be one of those who's going to protest? If you look in the Bible, there are so many who protested. When Sarah was promised a son, she protested. She was too old. When Jeremiah was told to prophesy, he protested. He was too young. When God was sent to Gideon to fight the Midianites, Gideon protested that he was insignificant. When Saul, when Samuel anointed Saul with oil, Saul protested that his tribe was too small. When Samuel anointed David, Jesse protested that he is the youngest. What is your protest today? You are not seen. You are not heard. God has not answered your protest uh, answered your prayers. I've been praying this for so many years. Are you going to protest? or i just going to not hold anything back and i'm going to worship with all that i have all that i am he knows who you are do you know the i am you may not know who you are but do you know the i am and that i am is in the room that i am is in the room and i want to say this thing in the end worship is not stirring up your emotions is everybody hearing me worship is not stirring up emotions if worship does not change the way you live 
if worship does not change your character your worship does not change your behavior if worship does not change your desire if worship does not change your passion if worship does not change your ambition it is not worship it's something else but if it does but if it does holy spirit is co-writing your story holy spirit is writing your story what is your story is it the story that you write or you want god to write your story come on let god write your story today Let's all stand up in God's presence. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here in this place. We want to worship you, not holding anything back. We want to give you the highest praise, the festive praise that we have. We want to give it all to you this, this evening, O oh Lord Jesus. Lord Father, we pray for every, every soul in here. Name by name, you know them, O oh Lord. I may not know them, but you know them. Lord Father, we want to worship you with all that we have from the bottom of our hearts. I surrender. I submit myself. Holy Spirit, move in this place in Jesus' name. And all God's children said, Amen. Let's give a clap of praise to your Almighty God. He is here to worship. Let worship Him with all that we have. We exalt. Sing it out.
He is here. He is here. Jesus is here. My king, your king is here in this place. He's worthy of all our praise and all our worship. He's worthy of all the adoration that you can give in this place today. If you believe that he is king, if you believe that Jesus reigns over everything, I think he deserves to be exalted like a king needs to be exalted. One last time, just the voices. If you can sing together as one family and say, we exalt thee God. Can we do that? Sing we exalt thee. Come on, lift it up, lift it up. One more time, just the voices. You can be much more louder than this. We exalt Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. We exalt Every day, every day, we of all our praise you're worthy of all the adoration you're worthy of all our worship we could sing for eternity Lord and yet we will fall short of words to explain how amazing how marvelous you are we your church we exalt your holy name in this place we give you all the glory, honor. And the church said, Amen. Come on, we can be louder than that. The church said, Amen. Come on, if you believe that he is worthy, give him a big round of applause. Like a king deserves to be praised and worshipped. We're going to praise the Lord in this place. While we praise the Lord, while we continue to praise the Lord, we may lose our voice, okay? We may sound off, we may sound off tune, our throats might start hurting, but that's a good sign. Are you with me? Tell your neighbor, if your throat starts hurting, that's a good sign. You know why it's a good sign? It means you're giving your best to the Lord. Are you with me? The first song that we're going to sing together. We're going to sing and declare God's goodness in this place. Can we do that? Can we declare God's goodness in this place? Come on. Hey! Everybody, one more time. me I was created out from every mountain top your goodness knows no bounds your goodness never stops your mercy follows me your kindness fills my life your love amazes me No. 
Now this is my favorite part. speak Hindi in this place how many of us speak Hindi in this place okay at least let's be confident about that how many of us speak Hindi okay the ones who don't all you have to do is repeat after whatever I'm singing okay is that okay say Not, not the ones that are backing me up. I want to hear the crowd sing. Okay, sing.
how many of you have seen pagan gods being worshiped pagan gods oh what is a pagan god i don't even know do you see how worldly people worship their gods we are here declaring that he is the start and the beginning okay and then the next line says is dil ka tu how many of us know what that means you're the king of my heart okay if i would be in your place i would declare that with confidence okay so when you sing it you say tu allah tu akhir hai tu allah now beat your chest and sing is such joy than praising and worshiping god come on for the next 30 seconds if you can lift up your voices and praise and worship god without any music without any instrument without anyone leading you into any song you give out your best to the lord thank the lord for his goodness thank the lord for his everlasting mercies oh we thank you father oh rama ke rama ina nama shekhe tere bo
Thousands and thousands might be. 
Eyes closed, all eyes closed, no distractions in this place.
if you are someone who is struggling with addictions right now all eyes closed if you are someone who's got addictions struggling with addictions right now can you just lift up your hand before the lord wherever you are come on all eyes closed all eyes closed if you are struggling with some sort of addiction can you just lift up your hand before the lord right now if you are someone who's got chains attached to you right now can you just lift up your hand before the lord right now i i plead you i beg you no distractions please i've got good news for you our maker is here jesus is here the same god who walked on water the same god who healed the leper the same god who rose from the dead the same god is here in our midst this evening God we ask you to revive revive us Lord The most important thing before you ask someone to revive you is to acknowledge that there is a death that has taken place If you want God to revive you right now you need to acknowledge that God the same resurrection power that is in you i need that resurrection power in me lord we just cried out to the most powerful name in the universe i don't know if you understand this it's not just a name it's the most powerful name Come on. Yes, you
word says if my people turn away from their wicked ways and cry out to my name I will hear their cry I don't know if you understood what I just said our god is not a deaf god Our God is not a God who ignores the cry of his people. Cry out to him. Cry out for yourself. Cry for your family. Cry for your church. Cry for your pastors. Cry for this land that you're standing on right now. There were several tribes that came together to build the broken wall. But it was one Nehemiah who stood and said, "God, make this happen." Even as you stand in his presence and you cry out to his name, pray that god through me lord through me lord may wonders and miracles happen not for my glory not for the glory of the church but for your glory for your kingdom lord
Wow, it's an honor and privilege to worship God, isn't it? Come on, be confident. You know what we need right now? When we walk out of this room, bunch of confident worshipers of Jesus Christ. That's all we need. We're going to shake this place. Come on, one more time. Put your hands together for Jesus in this place.